it was kind of funny how many years it took before it occurred to me. The doors, there's no two doors alike when you get down here in the original part of the structure. And I find it interesting that they have, all of the doors have multiple locks on both sides, which I find very odd. Um, one of the other things too is, believe me, I've been here eight years, we've never cleaned down here. It's just not happening. I have all I can do to maintain upstairs. There's never, I mean, occasionally if you look, you'll see a cobweb, but there are no cobwebs, there are no bugs. And I really find it hard to believe knowing previous owners that they were cleaning, but even if they were, I have, it's just that there's no form of life down here. In a building, you know, 110 years old, you'd think it would just be caked with cobwebs and stuff. This is a room that for me is usually pretty, pretty ho-hum. Lisa has issues in here, and so does Tim. Hmm. But uh, there's a couple chairs in here, and you're, you're going to see there's chairs all over the basement, and they're meant to be moved. Go ahead and move them around. Um, but the one, the one thing that I have experienced in this room that we were sitting down here once, and we were probably kind of sitting in a horseshoe and kind of facing the doorway from about two-thirds down to the floor. The, 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 I mean, I can't even put into words the light show that happened out there that we all sat here and watched. It was like a million tiny little fireflies and every color you could imagine. And we, we sat here and watched it. It was... Was that with Tim then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was... That's Incredible. Awesome. That was, I mean, for me to visually say I saw something, yeah. that was that was incredible. Yeah. Were, were the lights moving or pulsating? Y yeah, or blinking. 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 Uh, just little, 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 little. Tiny, 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 but just that little, um, not really fast, more like a firefly lights and fades, yeah. you know. So, yeah, this actually, this is the room, uh, Lisa Reed kind of named the cowboy room. So if you've ever gone through other people's old evidence and stuff like that, you'll see mm -hmm. lots of times people will use that mm. as, as terminology. And this is, this is where you get down in the area and you start touching the walls. And like that big timber there, it's black and sooty. Okay. I suspect. I could definitely see the original. That. The original. Yeah. yeah. Touch that at some point. Yeah. Right. But you know what, in 1900, they went, oh, it's, it's fine, we can reuse it. You know, today I think they'd have dug it all out and started all over, but under the circumstances, one of the things here I'll show you is uh, nobody's ever been able to figure out what the heck this is. Excuse me here. There's not a light here. I do have flashlights too. Is this hole in the floor? Nobody's, there's just like no explanation for it because the whole thing, you can jump down in it. There's a layer of concrete, but you can tell it's not solid like this. <laughs> but, and then underneath it, there's boards, because we did chip okay. out a corner. <laughs> but it's only about three feet deep, but the whole thing is even lined with concrete, and it's, it's always been, why? If it was a hole, why didn't you just fill it in? Yeah. And oddly enough, they, this, there was a, a leather strap there, which I've eventually broke off from handling it so much. Okay. But it's on the inside, and I find that very odd. Yeah. But yeah, that's always been. Because the Palmer House, like I said, it had electricity, so it had coolers. It wouldn't have been ice. It wouldn't have been food storage. It wouldn't have been, yeah. there wouldn't have been any need for anything like that. Okay. Now you can still see the hole where, where I dug back there. And you know, in hindsight, it's a good thing. What did you do? Uh, I went off what a total stranger told me about a dream she had. Yeah. And I got a, and that's my dad's sense of humor. Um, I dug up an entire box full of bones. Really? Yeah. And I, they were, well, they were rib bones. They were rib bones. And it was, there was a box down here, just a, like two 12 packs of pop sitting. And, uh, I called my husband like at three o'clock in the morning. He's like, you know, for the love of God, we're a restaurant. They could probably shut us down. I went, oh, good point. I never thought of oh. that. 
So he says, let me look at, I'll just stop it, come home, I'll look at him in the morning and we'll decide if we need to send him in or, or let me look at him. He, what he wanted to do is he wanted to look at them and see if they looked like they'd been cut. You know, where they barbecued ribs and, you know, it was a butchered animal. And so I took the box and slid it up here on the shelf and we were back here by 8.30 the next morning and he took one look at them and he said, those need to be sent in. So he went to work, he was back here at noon. We came down to get the box to bring it upstairs and start packing it up and figure out, okay, where are we gonna send these? How do we do this? And the entire box was gone. So <laughs> just gone, we never found it. Oh, well, that's quick. And you were the only two that knew about it? Mm -hmm. So oh. finder's fee for a box of bones, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no kidding. So, I mean, that one's always been very no bizarre. Digging without a permit? Yeah, it's my dad. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, no digging so without a city permit. permit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the room. I can see where he comes through with that smell. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what, there's times it will... It, it, it does feel different in here. Yeah, it's so smell. overwhelming. It smells sulfur. Yeah. Yeah. This, as I soon as you walk in, this feels different than anywhere else in the building. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I smelled that when I, we first came downstairs. When we first came down, I, I was catching it too. Is this the room with the mask? Yeah, this is a nasty room. No, this is, um, this is the one where the Native Americans believe it was an inhuman. Oh, yeah. So. It's tinny, maybe my tongue. Mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. now, this is this is a real, oh, that's the pop machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but what's always amazing about that is it will do shit like that at three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and you go, mm, I know the bar's locked. I know everybody's gone home. I know mm -hmm. nobody's up there pouring pop. But this is uh, a room we were sitting on more than one occasion. I've been we've been in here investigating, and you know you've got you've got chairs on both sides and. There's, you know, just from the equipment, there's enough lights that you can see people, yeah. and and this room, it, it just absolutely goes black, and the, and the snowman room has done that before, and I know Tim, he was sitting here, and he was looking out this doorway, and he just said there was just these two big red glowing eyes at him, and he was, he left, he left, he made the rest of us leave too, he's like, you guys, we're going yeah. now. It's kind of ironic, the, the room with all the religious postcards oh, cut off. Uh, yeah, the, the, the two gentlemen that owned the Palmer House in the 70s and the 80s, um, the one was a Methodist minister. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah this, like, is, this yeah. is, and I can show you the picture upstairs, too. Um, my girlfriend Sherry and I came down here one night. It was the middle of the week. Some guy, I don't even remember who, now writing a book and doing mini investigation, whatever. We came down here at about two o'clock in the morning and it was like in November, I mean, middle of the winter. And Sherry and I came around the corner and right where you're standing is this little tiny wet barefoot footprint and the little toe and part mm. of the second toe missing. Mm. And we stood here and photographed for about 15 minutes. And away it went. Right there? Yeah, it, and the thing is, because in the picture you can see that brick there. And it's odd because it's like a right foot and so if you think about even how how it, how it was walking, it, it yeah, would have been walking right into, the into the wall. Yeah. But it's just the one footprint, and you can see mm. the photographs as it fades, 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 and mm. it's just gone. Mm. 